Hello everyone, Tina here. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are going to create a card using a stamp set from Gina K Designs. This one here is 4x4 stamp set and it's called Nurturing Blooms. And the sentiments in here are very nurturing, I must say. Perfect for what we're going through right now. And there's um, three silhouettes of some flourishes in here. I loved, loved the eucalyptus. Why well, I, I love eucalyptus anyway. I love eucalyptus candles. I think it's a very therapeutic smell. And so we're gonna just jump in and make a therapeutic card today. <laughs> we're gonna start off by stamping with an oatmeal cookie ink. It's a really pretty taupe colored ink. Um, this is actually the same color that I'm going to be using for my card base. I have an oatmeal cookie card stock that I'm going to use. So if you're going to recreate this card, um, the ink that you're using with this flourish, you want to make sure that it's the same color as your card stock. My panel size is three and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. It's going to go the length of my card base, but it's going to leave me a border on the left and right. Um, I stamped one right side up, one upside down, and now we get to stamp our beautiful eucalyptus. I'm using the Fresh Sage ink, and I think this is like the perfect color. And I just love eucalyptus. I love the smell. <laughs> I love candles. In fact, for Christmas, my daughter's got me two eucalyptus, and I'm kind of being stingy with them because they burn so, <laughs> so quickly, but I just love the smell. It's just very relaxing. So that's what this card reminds me of today. We're doing the same, two up right side up to upside down. And isn't that just gorgeous? Now, I love those two colors, but I wanted to bring in a third color. And I wanted it to be a little bit more softer, so I'm bringing in a pool play. The pool play ink is a real pretty blue. And what I'm gonna do is offset it on the eucalyptus that I just stamped. So I'm gonna line it up right over the top and then shift my block over about a quarter of an inch. So I have a little bit of a blue shadow on each one of these eucalyptus. This is just gonna make it look a little even more softer um, with that blue. And then I'm gonna add a little more blue shadow to this very first one. And I just love the way, I love these colors. I think they're just gorgeous. Okay, after we have this done, um, I love the way it looks, but I think we need to do one more of the oatmeal cookie ink. I think it's just a little off balance for me. So I'm going to stamp that first image we stamped one more time off to the left here. Just kind of figuring out the placement. The stem on it was really long and I didn't want it to show where in the middle where we're going to stamp our sentiment. So I'm happy with this and I like how it overlaps on the edge of my panel. Next we'll take that same ink. We're gonna stamp our sentiment for this card today. There's so many pretty sentiments in the stamp set. Um, sending you lots of love. I'm here for you. I'm so sorry. And I'm stamping right now. I know we will get through this. And guys, I know we will get through this. I keep telling myself this every day. It's a little tough on us, I think, being um, homebound. <laughs> okay, while we're doing die cutting, I'm gonna take some green foil cardstock. This is Tim Holtz metallic craft cardstock, and I'm gonna cut out two flourishes with this. So we have some uh, green foil flourishes. Love this flourish die, and I, it's from MFT, and I don't know if they still have it. Um, if they do, I'll link it down below, but it is so pretty. I've used this often. I'm gonna go ahead and add my tape runner behind my sentiment, and then line up my flourishes together and then we're gonna just tack down our sentiment over the seam between both of them. We'll flip that over. I'm gonna add foam adhesive behind the back of my sentiment here. And I think that's gonna be great. We're gonna flip over our background panel. Today's card is very easy. Um, just a little bit of stamping and the flourishes, I think does a lot of the work for us. But I'm gonna add foam adhesive behind this panel and then we're gonna add this to, again, oatmeal cookie card base, which is like a craft card base, a nice pretty taupe color. Once we have our panel adhered, we'll go ahead and add our flourish and our sentiment. I wanted a little bit of that gold um, overlapping on our oatmeal cookie card stock there. And I think that looks fabulous. Now we need some bells and whistles. And I thought these teardrop gems would go perfect um, for this card. They're a blue color, the same blue that we overlapped on the eucalyptus. And um, 
these were a sample pack from a card kit and I'm not sure if they sell them outside um, of the card kit but um, if they do I'll link them below if they don't I'll try and find a substitute but the teardrops are so pretty and I added three clusters of three around my card um, last but not least, we're going to add a little bit of sparkle to the eucalyptus leaves. I'm going to use my Aqua Shimmer Pen by Nouveau. And then that finishes off my card for today, guys. Pretty simple card, um, but I just love the outcome. I think I very therapeutic, I, I do believe. <laughs> I thank you so much for joining me. Um, everything's listed down below as usual. And guys, I, kinda, I skipped my cleanup for today. I'm going to go ahead and re erase this little smudge I have on here. But um, my videos have been running a little bit long and they've been taking forever to upload, long time. I think it's because everyone at the house has been doing homework um, on the same internet system and so it's a little bit more difficult for me to upload. So um, I'm gonna skip out on the cleaning today to make my video a little shorter. Hopefully that'll help with the upload, make it a little faster. But I thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.